Ah, hello everybody. Welcome back to Greenlands and the Organic Root Challenge. We are into December at last and I have been busy. Yeah, as you saw from the intro, we got some bits and bobs done. So got this field turned over. I'm in the midst now of getting this stone picked. It has been limed and ploughed. So um, all in all, it's looking pretty good. Uh, but we do need to get this uh, this bunch of stuff done in it, um, especially the stones because yeah, um, a it's going to give us more lime, um, but it's all gonna, also going to neat up this field and save our machinery a little bit. So I'm going to get this uh, all this stone picked. It is December, so um, all our sort of baling contracts and stuff have come to an end. So we no longer have them available, but that's okay. Um, we finished that last one off, um, and our money is now at 225,000. In fact, we are on dollars, um, so let's change all this around. That's better. Um, so yeah, we are now on to December, and yeah, as I said, the bailing contracts are finished, but um, yeah, we made the most of getting that one last contract completed and that has boosted our money back up again. Now then, there's a couple of things I want to do this episode. The first one is obviously get this field done, um, which is what we're doing just now. Um, I have brought the, the wee um, Stuart trailer up here as well and that's going to be helping us get um, stones off. Uh, into that and that can just get whisked whisked away up to the debris crush crusher um, and then the other thing I want to do this episode is uh, I want to get um, oh, this is really tight um, I want to get our um, potatoes sold so I've got a bunch of potatoes, um, seed potato bagged, um, ready to go in that trailer down at the potato packing facility and we're going to sell that because, if I quickly show you on here, uh, da -da -da -da. scroll down, be there somewhere amongst all this stuff, here we go. So bagged sea potatoes 422. So as you can see, it's starting to rise. Um, so hopefully by the end of the day, that's going to pick up a bit. Um, and these are picking up as well. So December, January for that. January's ideal time actually. So maybe we should hold off. Hmm. Um, the other thing we've got is starch. That's definitely on the rise. 1,203 um, premium potatoes. It's not the right time of year to sell them just now. Um, the other potatoes we have as well, way down here. Um, premium potatoes, 9.75 is the highest, and we're at 9.52 and rising. So it might be an idea to sell those. And in fact, those are a good point to sell as well. So French fries and premium potatoes we should maybe sell. And then with regards to um, our grains that we have in storage just now, there is wheat, barley and oats. We're not going to get much more for our oats other than what we've got there. So it might be an idea to sell them just now because they're right at their peak. Um, the barley again is at its peak and we get 646 for that um, so these two I'm going to make into flour and sell them as flour this is I'm going to sell it just as uh, oats um, now to do that as I mentioned at the end of the last episode we're going to build ourselves uh, a grain mill and um, yeah we're going to get that put into place this episode so, a um, bit of selling, a bit of building, uh, and a bit of uh, new productions, and then yeah, we'll uh, yeah, hopefully see where we're at after that. The 
other things I've been doing as well I've just I did have a big sort out of all the pallets I'd reached my pallet limit uh, again because of the seed potatoes and the premium potatoes so what we've done is I've actually gone and sold uh, not sold I've gone and put a lot into storage a lot of the pallets and um, so I moved the clothing over because that was almost at capacity I've moved the cheese and butter moved them across um, to some a storage area um, and the same with the wool we've put that into uh, the fabric production so uh, we've had a good sort out of everything having said that I do need to look at selling some stuff um, because yeah, I'm slowly running out of space in places um, and yeah it's all very well storing it um, but uh, yeah I need to get rid of some stuff as well so the the big thing that I'm going to get rid of obviously is honey and um, yeah, these potatoes but yeah there is some pig food pallets that need to be brought up to here to give to the pigs and yeah we do need to sort of have a, a little sort about that sort of thing oh not doing very well with this not playing very realistically, am I? Keep driving through the hedges. Not too worry. It's very easy to do on this map. Um, not having the collisions, I've kind of got into the habit of just uh, not uh, not really sticking to the field boundaries very well. Need a map where the the hedges have collisions, I think. <laughs> Having said that, um, yeah, I am awaiting a new British map. Um, I think the next map I will take on will be another British map. Um, Quartz Farm is definitely getting close to being out. Um, I particularly want to have a look at that. Um, I didn't play on Oxygen David's Carmsden Farm because... Uh, when it came out I just thought a lot of people were on it um, and I wanted to do something a little bit different but having said that it's one of the fa the maps so far in this uh, iteration of the game I feel that I, I wish I had done um, so um, when Corpus Farm comes out I'm definitely going to try it definitely be on it um, and I think yeah there's going to be every man and his dog playing on that map but that's just a credit to Oxygen David and his fantastic mapping skills um, so yeah we will give it a go I think um, what type of let's play I've got some ideas in my head um, but yeah nothing concrete yet there's been so many great maps out to be fair it's it's really hard to choose um, when I'm trying to select a let's play um, we're, I think uh, yeah we kind of we definitely are spoilt for choice now um, there's so many good maps available I'm really messing this up <laughs> I think uh, what I'll do is I'm going to finish this off screen um, because I am making a right mess of this and uh, you'll probably get him dizzier and dizzier as you watch this so I think yeah I'll stop chatting we'll get this done and then next time we see you we'll be let me think yeah we'll probably go down mm, yeah to the grain mill I think to the grain mill and yeah we'll get that in place so we can then move um, move the, the various cereal crops about. We'll get some sold and we'll get some into production. So stone pickings finished. We have 45,000 litres of uh, grain in here. So I'm just going to park that there. I've also brought down um, some sunflower seeds as well. These have been uh, from our little garden garden plot. Uh, so they're going to go put in 
get put in here as well. So let's get to it. Let's buy this plot. So let's go down. Uh, I've been having a look through all the things to sell as well, and um, yeah, I've got, obviously got wheat in here just now, and the barley, like I said before, are going to go into this grain mill. We'll sell the oats on this episode, um, because they're at their highest just now, uh, and then I think what we'll probably do is... Um, yeah, we'll sell some potatoes, not all of them, but some of them. So, where am I? I need to go up to here, don't we? There we go. Uh, yeah, this one. So, what we need to do is buy this. There we go. Fantastic. And then what we're going to do, we're going to sell it straight away. So, like that going to give us 43 there we go and then uh, we need to find the correct grain mill which is in here somewhere there it is old a general mill so yeah quite like this um, and I think it doesn't look too out of place either so I think yeah it's definitely look at that that's about right nice oh no which way round should we have it I think we'll have it this way round It's going to cost us virtually nothing there. Yeah, a little way back from the road's not a bad thing. There we go. So that's that. Um, I don't think I can again sell these. That's fine. No, they're part of the map. That's fine. So we've got that in there now, and what we'll do is start getting some of these things in here. So first things first, we'll get this in here. And as I said before, this grain mill does process pretty quick. So I think we should be pretty good. Um, A little bit worried that that's not working. Am I on the wrong implement? There we go. Phew. So I get this in, then we'll go and get the other cereal crop in, and we'll put the the sunflower seeds in and then I think what we'll do we'll then get over to the potato packing facility and we'll get a, a whole bunch of uh, potatoes sold as well right money's gone down a fair bit but that's okay we'll uh, get on this and uh, yeah we'll see you over at the potato factory probably just quickly time lapse this why not me as well.
that's all the grain sold and delivered. So let's, uh, well that's a good dip. Let's get this uh, on the go. Let's stop processing as well. Um, yeah, we're, we're doing pretty well with the, um, the BGEs just now actually. So these are the potatoes I'm going to sell actually. Um, so we'll go and do that in just a minute. But uh, let's get this going. So we're going to put in... And this is going to give us chaff as a byproduct as well, which is quite handy. So we've got wheat, we've got barley, and we need to put some flour on in just a second. So that's processing at a good rate. But let's um, let's get this in as well. Okay. So get all those in. And get this processing as well. So sunflower oil. And that's gonna give us some fantastic income all that, which is great. You can see the flour is already processing, which is good. So let's get ourselves over to um fact now we'll go up this way. Let's get ourselves to the potato processing plant and yeah we'll get these potatoes loaded up and sold next. So I forgot to mention at the beginning of the episode um, we did get the cows sorted as well so we've got some new births from the cows and we have sold and uh, replaced uh, directly the the ones that we sold. I've not added any extra in um, just now, so um, but we will do. We will do. Um, at the moment, we're up to quite a few cows actually. Where are we at? So the pigs have all given birth as well. I put the pig food into their sty as well, and we've got fourteen thousand liters of slurry in there and a fair bit of a. Uh, manure as well. Sheep are doing great and um, they're just producing loads of wool now which is fantastic and the cows well we've got 20, 30 in the calving barn um, and then in the main barn 30, 40, 55, 65, 70, 75, 80, 5 plus the 30 no, 500, 515. So 115 cows so far. So it's going to obviously increase quite dramatically soon because yeah, these are on their reproduction cycle. Those are on their reproduction cycle, um, and these are getting close to puberty as well. So um, yeah, we are getting getting there. And once once this next growth uh, of birth cycle comes round, then yeah, we're going to be yeah getting close to maxing out our our cows as well, which is good. Um, no contracts just now, but as I said, I think the rest of the winter is going to be selling stuff. We've got lots of potatoes here, uh, as you can see, and another load of pig food there as well. So yeah, this is all going to add up, isn't it? Um, so what I'm going to do is I'll get this loaded up. I'm going to do it cheaty style and just lift up the pallets. I think since these ones do lift. Um, oh. And yeah, we'll get the French fries and the premium potatoes sold. All loaded up. Best place to sell this is supermarket so we're going to go down there make sure there's nothing coming and uh, yeah pull ourselves into the supermarket down here and well, let's get this sold okay nice so 6,949 for that good so I think what we'll do, um, oopsie daisy, 
we'll uh, probably finish the episode here um, we'll obviously put in our grain mill we've um, sold some stuff um, our finances at the moment are not looking too bad um, obviously we're in the red for today but um, income wise um, yeah we're not doing too bad our biogas income is pretty consistent now um, we've got uh, a good chunk of money coming in each day from that obviously the contract income is going to drop down now um, but um, our loan is slowly getting chipped away as well so I think let's have a look we're sitting on 108 so I think by the end of the winter we should have hopefully paid off our loan um, and then it's all gravy after that we'll just be making money but um, let's have a look uh, sold bale, sold products yeah 18,660 for today um, so yeah it's getting there it is getting there I think what I'll do is I'll take this down to the grain mill here and uh, yeah we'll get it put away and then like I said next episode we're gonna sort of be moving look at all this already wow um, we're going to be moving into spring again I think um, we'll skip through the winter um, as I said I've kind of got my winter projects done which are quite nice um, and then yeah we'll keep an eye on the animals and um, obviously we'll sell some more products and yeah hopefully get to the point where we can pay off this loan what I'll do is I'll throw a lot of the winter work into the intro of the next episode I think um, so you don't miss out um, but yeah we'll definitely be selling some of that flour and that oil and yeah certainly looking at uh, the honey um, and uh, pota potentially potatoes and yeah we've got lots of uh, cut beets to process as well so yeah going to be busy off screen um, but we'll get it all done and uh, yeah we'll see you on the next one if you have enjoyed it don't forget to hit that like button if you want to subscribe to the channel please do and if you want to share or comment you are more than welcome to I'll get back to you as soon as I can but in the meantime from Greenlands and the grain mill <laughs> take care and we'll see you all soon ta -ra.